Thank you for choosing an Ocean Optics Spectrometer for your application needs. In this video, we'll demonstrate the basic steps you'll need to take to get started with your new Ocean Optics Spectrometer. Let's start out with what comes in the package. Your Ocean Optics Spectrometer comes with several standard items, plus any accessories you've ordered and power supplies where applicable. Use your packing list as a handy reference. Now here's what you get. First, your new spectrometer. For this demonstration, we'll be using the Ocean Optics USB 4000. If you flip your spectrometer over, you'll find its serial number, its Rojas and CE compliance marks, and a recommended date for your next wavelength calibration. You'll also receive two CDs, the bright orange sleeve contains your SpectraSuite operating software. Flip the sleeve over to find your SpectraSuite password. You'll need this in just a minute. And it's a good idea to jot down your password just in case you ever need to reinstall your SpectraSuite software. The Technical Resources CD has operating instructions for all Ocean Optics products. Our USB spectrometers come preloaded with the wavelength calibration coefficients in an EEPROM, but we still provide hard copy wavelength calibration sheets. Be sure to save this in a safe place, just in case you need it later. The USB cable will connect your new spectrometer to your computer, but don't connect your spectrometer just yet. You'll need to install the SpectraSuite software before you do. Now we're ready to install your SpectraSuite software. For this demonstration, we're running SpectraSuite on a Windows platform, but SpectraSuite is also compatible with Mac OS and Linux. Insert the SpectraSuite CD into your computer. You'll need to install the software before connecting your Ocean Optics spectrometer to your computer. Using Windows Explorer, browse to your CD drive. Double-click on the SpectraSuite Setup Windows.exe file. This activates the Install Shield wizard. Follow the prompts until installation is complete. This should take no more than a minute or two. Now that the software is installed, it's time to connect your spectrometer to the computer. You will see a white sticker over the USB port on your spectrometer. Go ahead and remove the sticker. Now connect the USB cable to the USB port on your spectrometer. Connect the other end of the cable to the USB port on your computer. You will see a found new hardware message. If you are asked to connect to the internet to find drivers, Click on the Not at this time option. Instead, select the option for finding drivers automatically. The computer will now find the drivers from your CD and alert you that your spectrometer is ready to use. Now that the device drivers are installed, you're ready to start using SpectraSuite. In Windows, simply click on the SpectraSuite icon. You're ready to go. Your final step is to point the spectrometer's aperture toward the light. Check that SpectraSuite shows a dynamic trace on the graph. This should rise with increasing light intensity. That means that the hardware and software are now correctly installed. And there you have it! For more information, please be sure to visit us online at oceanoptics.com. You can also contact us via email at info at oceanoptics.com.